Hey, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the CCSU Women's Home Opener for this soccer season. Trevor Beal here with you live on a beautiful late August night here in New Britain, Connecticut, as Blue Devils kick things off. As the Blue Devils have a great, coming off a great season, of course, last year, winning the NEC Championship and advancing to the College World Series where they lost to Georgetown in the first round, but still what a great season they had, undefeated in the conference as they look to repeat that year. And their opponents today, the main Black Bears out of the America East, a little bit of a rough year for them last year, went 6-9-1 overall, 2-6 and six in their conference. So th this is their first game of the year as the Blue Devils, for them this is their second game, suffered a tough loss in the opener at Rutgers where they lost that in overtime 2-1. to one. The one goal coming from Roma McLaughlin scored that early on in the 11th minute as uh, Sidney Dorman got the assist in that one. But as I mentioned before, they suffered a tough loss, loss in overtime. But looking to bounce back here on their home turf. Today's officials are Jessica Carnival, Jose Sandoval, and Delphim Reno. Central will be in their home striped uniforms, with the blue and white, main with their road black. Central, of course, coached by Mick Darcy in his 20th season for the Blue Devils. A great career for him. Of course, adding another title to his legacy last year. And for Maine, head coach Scott Atherley in his 21st season, so has Darcy by one year, two great coaches. We'll take a look at some of the starters. First for Maine, What's up? Amanda Sandberg, yeah. a sophomore defender out of Sweden. Number four, Julia Mahoney, a sophomore midfielder out of Quebec. Number five, Hannah Bamford, a sophomore midfielder out of Rochester, New Hampshire, as we get underway early on. We have Emily Anderson, Jane Stevens, Nicole Bailey, Emma Cassette, Anna Krebish, Priscilla Domingo, Susanna Gaines, and Sailor Clark rounding up the lineup for Maine. And, of course, the... Starters for Central, Amanda McQuillan, the goalkeeper, gave up two goals last game, but still had a solid effort with nine saves. Sydney Dorman, Shawnee Altarizio, the senior. Tess Atkinson, Allison O'Rourke, Roma McLaughlin, Olivia Fiore, Emily Hogan, Delaney Lawler, Erica Bardez, and Jenna Ray Cavello. Here's Central in the corner. Nice stop there by Domingo for Maine. Bardez will throw in. Some good defense there for Maine. be a central throw-in. Here's Maine on the attack. It's good defense there by Fiore, the midfielder. Central have some key losses from last year in their championship season. Danielle Pierce was the leading scorer on the team with 25 points and 11 goals for them. She was the NEC Tournament MVP, scored three goals in the semifinal win as we have shot there. Central attacking early on and they'll have a corner kick.
kick sent into the box. Good defense there by Maine. That was Gaines who headed it away. Hogan trying to make something happen. Sends it back to the middle of the field. Central will take their time here. In the corner. Some tough defense there by Maine. Now sent out. It'll be a central throw in. But yeah, as mentioned before, more players central lost Charlotte Maurer, the 2018 NEC Midfielder of the Year with eight goals and five assists last year for them. Another big loss. And Ashley Kavanaugh, of course, the uh, 2017 and 2018 NEC Goalkeeper of the Year. She had 11 shutouts as a senior and led the NEC with a .6 goals against average and was second in the league with a .58, uh, .54 save percentage. So Central, those key losses are sure going to be felt, but they still have a lot of returners and a lot of depth for this season. Maine has a free kick. Trying to set it up to see if they want to send it in the box. Sent into the box as McQuillan comes out and makes the save. McQuillan had a, had a good start for them last game as Rutgers sent 11 shots on goal. She made nine saves, played the whole game. And of course, uh, CCSU only took six shots against 18 last, so she had her work cut out for her. But Central has been on the attack early. Ball almost gets through, but stopped. Main on the push. Benford sent it in the corner. And it'll be central ball. Good defense there. Here goes McLaughlin. Nobody there. Couple players fall. No whistle. His main will continue. Here's a ball to the down to the left side. Bailey has it. No one there on the cross and cleared out by Central. As you can see, a big crowd here for the opener in the back. That's the students just moving back in today, coming out to show support for the defending champions. Nice move there. Now set to head. Down the middle, here's Mahoney. Tried to get something going, but nothing. As McQuillan picks it up. Atkins sit on the left side. And we're going to have a whistle. It's going to be Maine's ball.
And ball is going to go out. Main with the throw. Fight for the ball in midfield. Main comes away. Banford tried to send it. They'll have a throw. Into Mahoney. And no one there. Central try to squeak that through, couldn't do it. Stop by Maine. Here's a ball in the corner. And it'll be out. Be a goal kick. Just about 10 minutes through the first half of action. Really only seen one shot on goal so far, but Central has put the pressure on early. As we see, Krebish comes out there and sends it back. The goalkeeper. Kick one there by Maine. They'll throw it in. Sent back to the keeper. As Roma McLaughlin tried to come away with something there. On the far side. The central throw in. We have a push there and a whistle. That's going to be a foul against Emma Cassette. Here comes the free kick. Sent in towards the box. Ball headed away. Central comes away with it. And we're going to have a foul there. It's going to go against Priscilla Domingo. If you saw her and Erica Bardez fighting for that one. And Bardez will have the free kick. The lefty sends it into the box. And it's going to be headed up. Shot. Bit off to the right. Easy save there for Krebish. Not sure if that was on goal. Here comes Maine. Up the far side. Maine wants a handball. This is going to be. It's going to be a corner kick for Maine. Emily Anderson is going to take it. First corner kick of the game for Maine. Ball sent in. Ooh, it was a good try there for Julia Mahoney, but a little bit too far off to the right. Good effort, though.
Around midfield on the far side. Central looking to make something happen. Up towards the corner. In towards the box. Here's a ball, a shot. Far left. Good effort. Been a couple of good opportunities now for Central, unable to capitalize, but still very early. Got 31 minutes left in the first half. Ball fought for in midfield. Here comes Central again. Sent to the box. Initial defender missed. Now we have an opportunity for Bardes. Sends it a bit high, but a good shot there. Central still on the tack. If they keep playing like this, you figure one has to go. Goal kick from Maine. Sent deep. McLaughlin <laughs> trying to make something happen, uh, kicks it back out. Sent it in towards Atkinson. Nothing really going on there. So Maine wins that initially, fight for the ball. They'll come away with it. Now Maine looking to attack. There's a good ball there. Into Bamford, yeah, but kicked away there. Good job by Bardes to recover. Ball set in the box, kicked away, but Steven heads it back in. Some more fighting for the ball inside the box. Now cleared there by Central. Here comes the counter. Atkinson trying to get to that one. Main kicks it out, will be a throw in for Central. And we got a whistle as a player is down. The clock stops there. And the trainer will go over. It's been a tough first half so far. Both teams playing hard. Central has had more opportunities for a goal, but Maine still has had some good opportunity as well. A couple balls in the box, but Central has been poised on both sides of the field, and now we have our first substitute. As it's going to be number 11, Beata Naglestad coming in for Maine. Naglestad is a senior forward out of Norway. As you see, Maine gives it back to Central. Quillen sends that deep to the other side.
There's a good ball down towards the corner. McLaughlin sends it. Should be a corner kick. Looks like Dorman's going to send in the corner into the box. Header, just wide. Another good opportunity there for the Blue Devils. Here comes Central again, down the left side. Allison will work, fighting for it. Just a bit out of her reach, is, it's gonna be a goal kick for Maine. It was a good hustle there for Allison Rourke, the senior forward out of Braintree, Massachusetts. comes Maine. Good defense there by Altarizio. Now Central will come away with it. Maine takes it back. Sent towards the middle. Black Bears looking to make something happen. Nobody's there in the center. As McQuillan Tracks that down, a little set up. She comes a bit far outside the box to send it deep. Be essential throw in. Sent into the box. Bit outside the stretch of O'Rourke and goalkeeper Krebish comes away with that one. Almost an opportunity there for Central. Now Maine the other way. Good ball up ahead. McLaughlin wisely comes out and scoops it up. Excuse me, McQuillan. Maine continuing the pressure. Good job there by Tess Atkinson coming and distracting that pass. There's a solid kick down. Mahoney was fighting for it. Now Maine comes away with it. The ball set in the box. Good defense by Central. 
Here they go the other way. And they'll slow it down wisely. There's a mistake there. It'll be main ball. Throw in. Nifty footwork there by McLaughlin. There's a ball sent to the other side. Nobody home. Here goes Central down the far side. Tried to cross it, but stop. It'll be, I believe, a goal kick. As Main will send on three substitutes. sent in. comes with Glockman. Nice There's a good header away. Good job there by Susanna Gaines for Maine. Central will have their first substitute of the game. As there's a foul there. Central got tripped up on that one. They'll have a free kick. Send it to the box. The header there by Tess Atkinson, no good. Great opportunity there, just a bit left. As she came in, got good position, got the head on it, but just a bit outside. Another good opportunity for the Blue Devils, though. Quinlan comes out to gather that. That was Tess Atkinson's trying to make something happen. Just about 18 minutes left in the first half. Still 0-0 game or nil nil there's a ball sent deep 
Al Terizio just kicks it away. Maine has it. That central defense has been pretty solid so far in this first half. Maine really hasn't had many opportunities. As Krebish comes up and kicks that one away. Now Central will send on another substitute. Casey Rolf will come in. Replacing Olivia Fiore. Rolf is a freshman midfielder out of Glastonbury, Connecticut, so not too far from here. Nice move there. Good stop there by Emily Hogan. Here comes Central the other way. Down the right corner. It was a good opportunity, but a bit too far out of the reach of Inzarello. She was all alone down there. Had a good chance, but Central unable to capitalize. It was Jenna Wright Cavello who made the nice pass in there. Yeah, we have a wh whistle. We have foul on Central. Just under 15 minutes now left in the first half. Good defense there from Maine. That was Bieta Naglestad there. Ball just a bit out of her reach. Lachlan, heavily contested, scoots out of trouble. Now Central will have it. Nice steal there from Maine. Emma Donovan. As an easy scoop up there from McQuillan. Some more rock solid defense by the Blue Devils. Still no score. Some good opportunities early for the Blue Devils as they try to get something here.
Ball sent towards the middle. We have a whistle. This could be a throw in for Central. Actually, I think they called a foul on that. Central taking their time. Trying to finally capitalize on one. Here goes Atkinson, sends it down. Bardez in, and a goal! That was Jenna Ray Cavella who came in and scored the goal for the Blue Devils, their first of the game, second of the season. It was about time as they had plenty of opportunities early on and finally a good cross there from Bardez into Cavello as Blue Devils now lead 1-0 just kept mentioning it before is all the opportunities the Blue Devils have had a couple miss headers good opportunity and finally they were able to cash it in so one nothing blue devils with just uh, about 11:30 left As you hear the announcement there, Jenna Cavella with her first goal on the season. Now Maine looking to attack, nothing, good defense there. Cavello is the junior out of Plymouth, Connecticut. So now Central will look to hold the lead if they've done a good job so far on the defensive end, arguably even better on the offensive end, but we're unable to score until then. Here's a ball in towards the box. As we have a big shove there by Maine, it's gonna be a foul. It'll be central free kick. And another good scoring chance here. You hear the central coaches yelling for Roma to get towards the ball. They send it in towards their header. A good pass and another goal. And actually we have... Is it, I think, believe it's going to be offsides. Yeah, they're going to call it offsides, but it was a good, a good opportunity there for the Blue Devils as they look to make it 2-0, but it's going to stay at 1-0. Yeah, we saw Casey Wolf just, just a bit in front of the defender there. Nonetheless, a good opportunity for Central as Maine tries to counter. So under 10 minutes now. It'll be a goal kick. Yeah. 
McQuillan. Gonna send it deep. Gonna fight for the ball. Glocklin has it. There's a good ball in towards the box. Fight for it. Maine comes away. There's a ball sent towards the box. Good job there by El Terizio. Central will have a couple more substitutes come on. It's going to be Abby Chase and Jamie Collimore. Two forwards, both sophomores. Center on the move. Chase. Good ball in. There's a good job there by Inzarello. Now down towards the right side. It's going to be almost out. Good job by Maine to keep it from being a corner kick, so now Central will throw it in on the sideline. Nothing there as the goalkeeper picks that one up. Roman McLaughlin took a big fall there. Seems to be okay. Still one nothing Blue Devils. There's a good opportunity there, but a bit left. That was Bardez on that shot. Under five minutes now in the first half. Central on the move again. Send it back out, set up the offense. Here's a cross in the box. Nobody really home.
some more solid defense there from Central. Maine really hasn't had many, if at all, any opportunities on the offensive end. on the near side. Good job there by Bardes. try there for the Blue Devils. As we're going to have a corner kick. Looks like Dorman's going to take it. Ball sent in. It was a header there by Delaney Lawler. Sent over the goal, however. Under two minutes now in the first half. Central up one nothing, looking to extend the lead. Here's a good chance. An attempted header there by Rolf. Main, some good defense there. They're gonna go on the counter. Don't have the numbers. As the ball's gonna roll out. So we throw in for Central. sent high under a minute now Roman McLaughlin sends it off good stop there from Maine Gaines just got her foot on it now the goalkeeper comes out slides big collision yeah, she's down Ref blows the whistles. They're gonna let the clock keep running. She seems to be okay. It was a risky move to came to come out there, but a good one has stopped the pursuit. As just about one second left, and that's gonna do it for the first half. So the Blue Devils, with a very solid uh, start. One nothing lead as they've been very, very solid on the offensive end and defensive end as Maine is really not able to get anything going. But Blue Devils, a lot of good opportunities as they have the one nothing lead. So we're going to step away for halftime as the Blue Devils up one nothing. You're watching on NEC Front Row. connected to our past, to our communities, and most importantly, to each other. Visit ccsu.edu. How do you see your future? If what you envision is success, then it's time to take a closer look at the Army National Guard. There are over 150 career training fields that give you hands-on experience while sharpening your skills for real-world professions. The leadership opportunities you acquire in the National Guard can give you an edge over the competition, too. Visit nationalguard.com careers to learn more. 
So whatever you see in your future, the National Guard has the career training to help get you there. How do you see your future? If what you envision is... When Connecticare started more than 30 years ago, healthcare was simple. We were neighbors helping neighbors. And through broken bones, bronchitis, babies, and bursitis, we're still your neighbors, lending a helping hand. We're here to lift you up and lighten your load. We have your favorite doctors, no referrals for specialists. We even go on vacation with you, working harder to make things easier. Connecticare. You know us by heart. When Connecticare started more than 30 years ago, healthcare was simple. We were neighbors helping neighbors. And through broken bones, bronchitis, babies, and bursitis, we're still your neighbors, lending a helping hand. We're here to lift you up and lighten your load. We have your favorite doctors, no referrals for specialists. We even go on vacation with you, working harder to make things easier. Connecticare. You know us by How do you want to be remembered? Every day is a new opportunity. Every day I do something to get better. Every day is a step in my journey. Be better than you were yesterday. But not as good as you're gonna be tomorrow. Sweat the little things. Pay attention to the details. Because when opportunity knocks, it's too late to prepare. I'll make the practice. Start to finish. Start to finish. We both want to win. Who wants it more? You want to be good. I want to be great. You get to write your next chapter. What's it going to be? The game of basketball. It demands grit, toughness, competitiveness at the highest level. In the NEC, we've been overlooked, underrated. That just gives us more to prove. Well, it's a new brand of NEC basketball. A brand that defines us. A brand that tells our story. A brand that doesn't quit. Don't play for yourself. Play for the person next to you. 100% given. 100% of the time. And when there's nothing left, dig deep and find more. All in. Ball out. Let's get it. Basketball has been a game changer for me. It's helped me grow as a teammate and a leader. By establishing standards for youth development, USA Basketball is making a difference for players of all ages. Through education and training, they're helping to make the game safer and more fun. Make sure your child is taught the right way. Ensure you're the best coach you can be. To learn more, visit usab.com or download the USA Basketball mobile app. Reserve soldiers use their skills to make the Army even more capable and gain the tools to make themselves even more successful. Learn how at GoArmyReserve.com. And for the first time in history, the Bryant Bulldogs are Northeast Conference champions.
Army Reserve soldiers use their skills to make the Army even more capable and gain the tools to make themselves even more successful. Learn how at GoArmyReserve.com. The game of basketball. It demands grit, toughness, competitiveness at the highest level. In the NEC, we carry a chip on our shoulder, but pride on our sleeves. We've been overlooked, underrated. That just gives us more to prove. Well, it's a new day, a new brand of NEC basketball. A brand that defines us. A brand that tells our story. A brand that doesn't quit. Through adversity, we remain committed and dedicated to each other. A team with one collective goal. Because we can achieve more together than we can alone. Heart. Sacrifice. Blood, sweat, and tears. And when there's nothing left, dig deep and find more. for yourself. Play for the person next to you. 100% given. 100% of the time. All in. Ball out. Let's get it. At CCSU, we are connected to our past, to our communities, and most importantly, to each other. Visit ccsu.edu. How do you see your future? If what you envision is success, then it's time to take a closer look at the Army National Guard. There are over 150 career training fields that give you hands-on experience while sharpening your skills for real-world professions. The leadership opportunities you acquire in the National Guard can give you an edge over the competition, too. Visit NationalGuard.com slash careers to learn more. So whatever you see in your future, the National Guard has the career training to help get you there. When Connecticare started more than 30 years ago, healthcare was simple. We were neighbors helping neighbors. And through broken bones, bronchitis, babies, and bursitis, we're still your neighbors, lending a helping hand. We're here to lift you up and lighten your load. We have your favorite doctors, no referrals for specialists. We even go on vacation with you. Working harder to make things easier. Connecticut. You know us by heart. When Connecticut started more than 30 years ago, healthcare was simple. We were neighbors helping neighbors. And through broken bones, bronchitis, babies, and bursitis, we're still your neighbors, lending a helping hand. We're here to lift you up and lighten your load. We have your favorite doctors, no referrals for specialists. We even go on vacation with you, working harder to make things easier. Connecticut. You know us by heart. How do you want to be remembered? Every day is a new opportunity. Every day I do something to get better. 
Every day is a step in my journey. Be better than you were yesterday. But not as good as you're gonna be tomorrow. Sweat the little things. Pay attention to the details. Because when opportunity knocks, it's too late to prepare. I'll make the practice. Start to finish. Start to finish. We both want to win. Who wants it more? You want to be good. I want to be great. You get to write your next chapter. What's it going to be? The game of basketball. It demands grit, toughness, competitiveness at the highest level. In the NEC, we've been overlooked, underrated. That just gives us more to prove. Well, it's a new brand of NEC basketball. A brand that defines us. A brand that tells our story. A brand that doesn't quit. Don't play for yourself. Play for the person next to you. 100% given. 100% of the time. And when there's nothing left, dig deep and find more. a teammate and a leader. By establishing standards for youth development, USA Basketball is making a difference for players of all ages. Through education and training, they're helping to make the game safer and more fun. Make sure your child is taught the right way. Ensure you're the best coach you can be. To learn more, visit usab.com or download the USA Basketball mobile app. Everything in the back with you. Army Reserve soldiers use their skills to make the Army even more capable and gain the tools to make themselves even more successful. Learn how at GoArmyReserve.com. Back with you at New Britain, Canadian. Connecticut as the Blue Devils have a one nothing lead over Maine as we'll take a look at the first goal Central had. It was a good pass in there by Erica Bardes and Jenna Ray Cavello scored her first goal of the season as gave the Blue Devils a one nothing lead. Blue Devils, uh, as we mentioned before, lost their first game of the season but so far have looked very solid so far in the first half as they have had plenty of opportunities as they've had a total of nine shots so far, which is a pr pretty good job for them as they've only had a total of six last game. So being aggressive early on is compared to Maine, they've only had two shots in total. Uh, one of them on goal. And so it's been a great job on both ends for Central, the defensive look rock solid, arguably better than the offense, who have had plenty of opportunity. So, all around a good half for the Blue Devils. As they're going to look to keep the pressure on. Again, still early in the season, only their second game. This is the first game for Maine. As they, they did have a couple of exhibition games, played well in those, but haven't really been able to get anything going. But Central is going to look to keep have the same mentality, attack, and keep that same defense going as we're just about ready to start the second half. And of course, Blue Devils almost had uh, another goal, but it was taken away by that offside. It's 
it's going to be the Black Bears ball to start. Central will get in a quick huddle, get ready to go on this beautiful late August night. First day back for the students. Classes start tomorrow. I'm sure everyone's all very excited for that. Central breaks their, breaks their huddle and they'll be ready to go. Good? Yeah, I think so. Okay. What was it, the Titan? <laughs> so Maine will have it first. There's like a bubble. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maine's going to have to look to put as much pressure on as they can. Because they've really been unable to do anything so far. Mentioned before, only one shot total for Maine in the first half. Down in the corner, Maine will throw it in, in towards the box. Easy scoop up there from McQuillan. Central the other way. Not enough on that header. Ball sent in as yep the fly comes up off sides there. As I believe that was Cavello who was just ahead of the pack there. Here's a kick sent deep. Fight for it. And there's gonna be a whistle there, foul. A bit aggressive there. So Maine's gonna have a good position for a free kick here. Haven't had many of those opportunities. So they're gonna look to send one in the box and have an opportunity for a goal, or at least get a shot on goal. It's gonna be Nicole Bailey who's gonna send it in for the Black Bears. The lefty. A good ball, but over the heads of everyone. Just gonna roll out for a goal kick. Now central on the far side. Here's a good ball. Good job by the goalkeeper to come out there and send it back. Here's a nice play there by Priscilla Domingo. Able to push the central player out of the way and get the ball. Set up main here. Some more good defense by the Blue Devils. Here's a good ball for Allison at work, but again, the keeper, Krivich coming out, doing a good job. Just 
On the far side. Taken away by Maine. Just about five minutes into the second half. Good try there from O'Rourke. And kicked away, Central will have a throw in down towards the corner. It's gonna be Sidney Dorman who's gonna throw it in. In the corner. There's O'Rourke. Kicked away, it's gonna be a corner kick for the Blue Devils. Dorman's gonna take this one. Backs up. Waits for a team to get set. Now takes a kick in the box, but it's going to be cleared away by Maine. Here goes the counter. Clark sends it in towards the middle. Back towards Clark, but unable to get that one. McQuillan scoops it up. going to be a throw in for Maine. Score still 1-0 for the Blue Devils. Good start to this second half as well. Here's Maine on the far side. A good slide tackle there for the Blue Devils. Maine gathers, looking to send it in towards the box and cleared away. McLaughlin. Sends one down. Maine stepped up the defensive play here to start the second half. Here's an opportunity. Sent towards far side. A shot and a goal. A beautiful strike there from the Black Bears. As I believe that was Sailor Clark on the goal, but we'll check that in a minute. But either way, Maine coming in strong in the second half. It ties up the score at one. So Blue Devils have just one defensive latch there and ends up being a goal for the Black Bears. So we're tied one to one with 37 30 left. That ball kicked out. Second so scored there by Anna Marie Dogger for the Black Bears. Their first of the season, as this is their first game. Did you hear that goal announced now? So one to one. It was the first real opportunity Maine had all game long, and they capitalized on it. As we saw in the first half, Central had plenty of opportunities, but only able to get the one goal. So that's the way soccer is. All you need really is one chance. Now we have a tie game. It's going to be a goal kick for Maine. I 
And Central went up in their first game as well, one nothing, and unfortunately gave up that lead and ended up losing in overtime. So they're trying to avoid that tonight. fighting for that. Now Rourke's going to hustle down for it. It's going to be kicked out by Maine, so we're going to have a throw in for the Blue Devils. Atkinson towards the center. Or excuse me, that was Dorman. Here's a shot sent in. Good job there by Krebish. Maine must have had well, the coach, head coach, Scott Athlete must have given him a good speech at halftime because Maine's come out completely different than they played the entire first half. Been much more aggressive. And it's paid off. Blue Devils throw it in. Good job by Maine. Get it towards their side. Now in the corner. It's going to stay in. A fight for it. Maine comes away. Sends it in towards the box. Cleared out for the moment. Now Central will come away with it. Central on the far side, looking to advance. Maine comes away with it. Here's a goal kick. Thirty-two thirty left in the first or in the second half. Roman McLaughlin tried to get to that one. Good defense there for Maine. Now they'll try to counter, but nobody there on the left side. Here comes Central. Ball sent towards the box. Stopped. Here comes a ball towards the center. Here comes Maine. Don't have the numbers. This will try to send it in. Now towards the corner, just out of the reach there. It'll be a throw in for Central. A 
O'Rourke down the sidelines. Good job there by Cassette. Kicks it out, but Central will have the throw in. More good defense there by Maine. On the near side, cleared out. Central will set things up. Tough pass there by Dorman. Here comes Maine. It's gonna fall out. It's gonna go to Central. Not a lot of opportunities here in the second half for the Blue Devils. They've been trying to get more aggressive. Here's a good ball here in towards O'Rourke. It's gonna stay with Central. Good throw in spot here. Here's McLaughlin. Now sent out, stay with the Blue Devils. Tough defense there by the Black Bears. So they came away with it. It's gonna be a goal kick because we'll have a couple substitutions, both for Maine. It'll be Caleb Brace, along with Nicole Bailey checking back in. Or excuse me, that's Olivia Bamford. Gonna go to Maine. Throw in. I'm gonna stay right with him. Ball sent just a bit far out of the reach. Maine keeps the pressure on, and so get it right back. McQuillan scoops that up. Maine will send in a couple more subs. It's gonna be Emma Donovan and Olivia Chalifo coming in. And they'll be replacing Nicole Bailey and Sailor Clark. It's about 26 minutes or 27 minutes left in the second half. Still a 1-1 game. So Maine has only had two shots on goal all game, and one of them happened to go in. Central, on the other hand, a lot of opportunities in the first half, not so much here in the second half, as Maine has really stepped it up defensively. Or I should say, really stepped it up all around.
fight for a ball on the far side. He'll go to Central. As they'll send on some subs. First time in a while for them. Tess Atkinson returns. Along with Giovanna Inzarello. Allison O'Rourke and Jaylee, Jamie Collimore come out. Blue Devils trying to make something happen here. It'll stay with them. A throw in on the far side. Cross denied there, but it will go out to for a corner kick for the Blue Devils. Central, not sure who they want to take the corner, finally. It's going to be Bardez going over there. Bardez sends it in. Shot good and a goal. A nice header there for the Blue Devils, and they take the lead. A great corner kick in, a great position there as Blue Devils get it right back. As I believe that was Giovanna Inzarello on the goal. She got the position and was able to capitalize on a header. They had missed a couple of those opportunities early on, but this time didn't miss that one. So Blue Devils take a two to one lead with 24, 30 left. It was funny, the Blue Devils were unsure who they even wanted to take the corner. Finally, they figured it out and Bardet sent a perfect ball in there. So now Maine will play from behind once again. Blue Devils working hard, trying to get that first win of the season. So they did not want to go back to overtime. And they'll try to keep it that way. Maine does have that one goal, but Central has been really stellar on the defensive end all game long. As mentioned before, only a couple shots. Uh, confirmed there was Giovanna Inzarello there on the goal, but Maine only with a couple shots total for the whole game and just one of them happened to go in so Central really has been solid defensively so they're going to try to keep that same strategy and keep their lead And it'll be Blue Devils kicking in. Ball sent deep. Here comes Maine. Yeah, there's a whistle there. That'll be Blue Devil Ball. Oh, 
be a free kick. Nice job there by Cavello. Ball sent in towards middle, kicked away. Blue Devils still have a chance. Some more good defense there by the Black there. And they'll head the other way. Tough ball sent in there as they didn't really have the numbers. Tried to force one in to Caleb Brace. Or excuse me, to Emmett Donovan. That ball goes out and we'll have another substitution. This time for the Blue Devils. Brianna Williams is gonna come in. Replacing Taylor Smith who got a good, good ovation there. Good opportunity there for the Blue Devils. But just a bit too high and it falls out. It'll be a goal kick. Just about 20 minutes remaining in the second half. Blue Devils hanging on to their 2-1 lead. Big collision there, no call. The Blue Devil is down, but play will continue. This game has been very physical throughout. Throw in for Maine. Central trying to keep it away down their own side. Now back to the keeper, good choice. It's gonna fall in for a main throw. Ball sent in towards the box. Just misplayed there by Califo. Here comes Central, with a little momentum. Great pass there. Here's a shot, a good save. Central still with the ball, down in the corner. They'll have a throw in. It was a good job by Jenna Recavello on the attack, but an even better save by Krebish. Central's gonna have a free kick. Here's the pass. Almost in. Just got over the top of the goal. As she went for the goal there. I thought she was gonna pass it in. That was Bardez, but she surprised me. Almost snuck that one in.
Yeah, here's a good ball, but good job there by Dorman stopping that. That's going to be a main throw in. Now sent deep. Keeper comes out. Kicks that one in play. A bit dangerous, but Maine able to come away with it. Yeah, we got a whistle. It's going to be a foul. Be Maine free kick. They'll quickly play it in. some subs for me. It's going to be Nicole Bailey, Jane Stevens, and Sailor Clark. All starters all coming back in. As time's winding down for them, just about 15 minutes left. That one goal deficit. Maine has a throw in. Send it in towards the box. A fight for it. And it's going to be cleared out. Big hit there. And there's the whistle. Foul there is on Susanna Gaines. Central's taking their time on this free kick. They'll go out for a main throw in. Central just playing keep away now. They're going to take their time here, try to set something up. Nearly lost there. It's a fight for it. Now Maine comes away with it. Sent in towards the box. But good recovery for the Blue Devils. Now we're going to get a goal kick. That was a pretty dangerous opportunity there. But Central with good recovery. Now we'll have a sub. Olivia Fiore comes back in. Jenna Ray Cavello comes out.
Here comes Central. Sent towards the middle. Now towards McLaughlin, but good defense from Maine. On the far side, you see Giovanna Inzarello got a little nicked up in the play. Might have a bloody nose, but it's still out there. Here's an opportunity, but good defense there for Dorman. As Taylor Clark got tripped up there. Good no call by the ref. Ten minutes remaining in the second half. Blue Devils clinging on to their 2-1 lead. Now Julia Mahoney will come back in for Maine. Now we have Inzarello coming in. I'm pretty sure she yeah, she took a elbow or something towards the nose, and I think it was bleeding, but she stayed in. And finally gets to check out. Showing some toughness there. They almost didn't even sub her out at all until she started running over. Here comes me with a chance, a shot wide right. Good shot though, as Maine really hasn't been able to get anything going, so good job pulling the trigger there. So that was Hannah Bamford. And there's a whistle there. Clear foul there on Julie Mahoney. Central sends it deep. Here comes the Glockman. Good defense there. She recovers. There's a tough play there, no call. I mean, almost had a good opportunity there, but Central gets it back. Now ball sent down to Ashley Wright towards the corner, sends it in, but good, now in. Ball batted around, now kicked out. Still in the box. Now sent towards the center, but cleared out. Good job by Maine. Now they'll come the other way. We get a whistle. Pretty good follow there by Central. Stopped the momentum. Six thirty left now. Here's a ball sent in towards the box. Almost had an opportunity there. 
Nonetheless, it'll be a goal kick. Emma Donovan checks back in. Main bench trying to encourage them to get something going. Uh, Central the other way. The Glockwood runs that down. Here's Altarizio. That's a shot on the goal. The right at the keeper. Krivich, no problem with that one. Under five minutes now. Maine's got to get something and something going quick. Good move there by Dorman. It'll stay with Central. It'll be a throw in. Ball cleared. Staying with Central. Continuing the pressure. Far side. Good defense there. Got a whistle that was offsides there. Here comes Maine. Good job there by Dorman. Giving the central defense a chance to get back. In the corner is Mahoney, falls out, and it's going to be a goal kick. So that opportunity for Maine stopped pretty easily by the Blue Devils. job there. O'Rourke, or excuse me, Atkinson runs that down. Stays with the Blue Devils. Good fight in the corner there. Blue Devils will throw in again. And here comes Maine trying to clear it. Ball sent back to the keeper. Thank you. 
Main on the throw in. Gotta get something quick. Here's a shot. Almost trickles in. We're waiting on the signal. And it looks like it's going to be a goal kick, but almost a good opportunity there for Maine. With under a minute now, 40 seconds remaining. Central just needs to get it in and play keep away. Final seconds, 20 seconds left. There's a good clear out. As Atkinson runs down that one. 10, 9, 8, In the corner fighting for it. It's going to be a goal nine, kick, but that's four, just about going to do it. Two, yeah. That ball sent in, but there's the horn. It's the Blue Devils get their first win of the season. Move to 1-1 one one on the year. A strong way uh, for their home opener as defending champs. Finally get one on the board as we had a couple good goals there for the Blue Devils. We had... Uh, Jenna Ray Cavello scored her first goal of the year. That came early on. And then we saw Maine able to come back in the second half, and they got a pretty good goal there. They only had a couple, shows, a couple shots on goal, but they were able to capitalize there. And then finally, the Blue Devils retook the lead, and they're able to capture their first victory. So a strong, strong start for the Blue Devils as they lost that first one in overtime, but able to bounce back. Both two to one finals in those games as we see the players shaking hands. So the Blue Devils, their next game for them is going to be this Thursday, the 29th, at home against UConn. It's going to be the same time, 7 o'clock start. As we're looking forward to that one, a little in state rivalry. As Maine, they'll head back. Long bus ride home. But that's going to do it here for us from New Britain, Connecticut, as the Blue Devils win this one 2-1. to one. Move to 1-1 one one on the season. It's been a great presentation, a great game overall, a lot of action. And I uh, thank you for listening. You've been watching on NEC Front Row. First time in history, the Bryant Bulldogs are Northeast Conference champions.